Here comes that music again. Social sessions, what does that mean? That means that I am recording this for social media platforms. I'm trying to mix it up just a little bit with you guys, um, figure out some different ways to bring you content. This is one of the ways that I can do that. So the last spray session I mentioned that I was having some difficulty with like sound lead real bad. So I've decided to keep a camera rolling more often and just try to do some voiceovers for you guys. I'm in the studio tonight. It is a Friday night. I shot this film two, three weeks ago-ish, somewhere in there. And these 2.5 crankbaits are for a tournament angler. And he has since gotten those crankbaits. So this is just a little stencil. And you can see how light this is. This is, you guys have basics. What we're working on and what the whole point of some of these videos are is to give you a little more sense of blending and softening some of the bolder colors that I've been using previously. Really trying to drill down on that match the hatch on these. So I've got some color shift, that Vallejo stuff. I've really been heavy into that and that, that just gives such a wonderful overlay on some of these patterns. And it's real light, it's very subtle. It's something that is accessible to all of you guys out here, and I highly suggest that you pick some of it up, especially if you're doing anything that's a shad or a bluegill, just because of that pearlescence, that iridescence when they're shining, when those scales are flashing in the water. So this is the, uh, the 10 green. I'm not going through colors, really, on this one. I'm just saying hey, and I'm showing you a little bit, about seven minutes worth of some film. You can see that the two crankbaits in the back, I haven't started, so you can kind of get an idea on how I'm laying that in. There is just a pearl clear medium on the back, those two in the very back, and then I've got an opaque detail illustration black uh, that are representing the lateral lines that you would see on the bluegills. So that's pretty much the premise for these, and then I'm just laying some transparent paints over that. And I'm really, really drilling down with the blending and enjoying it. So this has got a little bit of white on the bottom. And occasionally I'll do that just to portray the belly. And then I'll throw over the opaque white. I'll throw some pearl white on top of that. It just gives it a really natural look. So just kind of goofing around. Hopefully you guys are having a good, getting ready to have a good weekend. This is a self-cut stencil. The first stencil that you saw me use on the really softened black for the, uh, the, the scaling was from um, Monarchy, or Monarchy, it was, <laughs> yeah, uh, nope, Anarchy, there we go. I, I, there, I knew there was a key word into it. It was uh, Anarchy Model UK. So it's, this is my sixth video that I've been editing for the day. I just finished doing a ton of stuff for iCast for um, Buco Brand and Bullshad. This Friday uh, today is actually July 12th, 2024. It's about 9.30 at night and it is the Friday before iCast. So we have been uh, burning the candle at both ends. That is uh, just a little bit of white acrylic paint. It's just airbrush paint with a detail brush just to get in that little white line underneath the gill flap there. Um, I'm not sponsored by them, but of all of the, uh, the super glue gels that I use to kind of get the eyes down, I really like the Loctite the best. Uh, I've been using that for several years now. Gosh, um, I think the first I started out with was Gorilla Glue. It's a little jelly. It takes too long to, to set, especially if I'm running up to the clear coat room right after I'm done with all these. This is just a really fast set, which I like with, uh, with eye glue. These little eyes are, if you've ever had a Mega Bass crankbait, they have the positioned eyes that look like they're running from something and scared to death and looking behind them. Um, I really like those eyes sometimes and I've kind of mixed it up between the golds and the reds. A lot of the, a lot of the bluegill have red eyes. So just five or six patterns here, and some of the other ones have uh, 
have yellow eyes, the golden eyes on there. But yeah, just the blue bottle Loctite is, is what I'm using these days. And then you can see the rest of the customers ordered in the background there. So these we're just going to run through real quick are the patterns that I did for this gentleman. And then at the end of this video, I've got some reference stuff for you guys. So I forget who I was watching. I'm going to have to come back with their name, but I was watching somebody that's, he's got about 531 subscribers and I subbed to him because he's just doing some really cool stuff. So if you guys have YouTube channels, hit me up, DM me, let me know who you are and what you're doing. And I'll take a look at your channel. I'll, uh, I'll see what's going on and maybe pop in and say hi or give you a comment and give you guys a nod and I'll try and uh, promote you guys as best as I can because I really think that this is an awesome community. Here are some reference photos just for you. Some of these, actually I think most of these are photographs that I've taken from fly fishing when I've been catching going after panfish. I do that a lot. I really try to get a lot of reference photos for you guys. So enjoy the last few seconds of this segment. As always, I appreciate you guys hugely. That's one of my favorites right there that I painted, um, I think on some mega bass, as a matter of fact. So anyways, I hope you guys have a great weekend, day, night, afternoon, whatever time of day or place in the world you are watching this from. Cheers. Happy casting from Jekyll Bates. And I will see you in the next video. I feel like I need a margarita, or at least a shot of tequila. Maybe both. I don't know. Right now it's iced coffee. I know. Lame and boring. Not really. I'm not, but... No spiciness on Friday night for Jenny. All work. Oh, that's a pretty one. That's from Chris Jones. Peace.